Today, father and son go head to head in an international cooking challenge. They have to throw a dart on a map and they will have to cook a meal we choose for them from that country. All right. What are they have? We're surprising them by bringing an old friend of Chef Abdel's, a real chef, to judge their cooking. The winner will receive a free trip to that country. May the best cook win. You guys want to take the shot of the dart? Want to take it over? No, go for it, Duke. Cool. Sure? Yeah, I'm cold. Okay. Cool. All right. Bismillah. Bismillah. What did I hit? Oh. Okay, let's see. Whatever. Country close to the dark. Oh, oh my oh god. Oh my god. I hit Italy. Italy, my friend. Oh my god. You're so lucky. You're so lucky. It's a Calabria. Oh my god. Oh, my friend. So... That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. So, Italy, huh? I know that's your expertise, but I got this. Oh my god. I hit Italy. My dad, he, this guy, Italian, Italian experience. He specialized in, in Italian cuisine. What am I gonna do? 40 years. Yes. I love Italian cuisine. I used to have my store for six years and I work in Malta for six years as well. Have a lot of experience in Italian cuisine. You will be with okay, me, guys. You will be making a very popular Italian dish. Osso buco. Yes. Oh, no. I'm so screwed. <laughs> Zach disappeared. I don't know what he's doing. YouTube. Today I will show you how to make meal sabuco with creamy polenta and remoulade. Sabuco is a piece of meat come from the legs with the bone in the center. You will love it for sure. I think we should talk about the consequences. So if I win, you're gonna pay for my trip to Rome. Really? And if you lose, I'm gonna pay for your trip to Rome. If you lose... I think I'm going for a free trip. Yalla bismillah. Ta yalla. Can I say what? Yalla bina. Get the ingredients. All right. Okay. What do I have? The also buko itself. Our meat. So this is the main ingredient. Dish, yeah. as you see, as I said, this is fruit yeah. with the bone yeah. in the center. And this, this is veal. Veal takes less time because if you want to beef, the beef is going to take like two hours. But I have a trick to shorten the time of the cooking. I'll show it to you on the day. Cooking for me is a fun. And I like to teach people while I'm cooking some parts, some tricks, somehow to make their life easy. And this is what I will do with Zach today. It's always magic this, magic that. Trick, let, let me show you guys a trick. Man, enough tricks, man. Why, is you, why, are you, why are you filled with so many tricks up your sleeve? All right, let's pick out some, some meat. Yalla, you choose, yeah. okay. right? So no excuses after. Okay. Pick no, whatever. No excuses. This one looks nice so good. Nice pieces, whatever. Good shape. Pick whatever you want. I'll do, uh, I'll do a nice big okay, one. Take three, size. take three. Now I'll do an, I'm doing my trick. So here again, I have two cups of water, one cup of vinegar, and one quarter spoon of the baking powder or soda, both of them working. Okay, I'll soak, I'll soak my meat here for about 10 minutes, all right? And just to break the fibers down, and this way will reduce the time of the cooking. This one? Put it in the fridge? Yes. Put it in the fridge for 10 minutes at least. Step two for the ostobuco. I'm going to start creating the, the stew for the osobuco. So I'm going to start cutting up, uh, some slicing up some celery, some carrots, some onions. So three main ingredients. You good, Zico, right? Oh, yeah, I'm good, right. I'm good. Okay. I'm trying to remember every time. Rem remember to peel the carrots. Oh, yeah. You remember a trick I showed you about? Yeah, 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 yeah I remember. Us? Okay, do it. Show it to them. Okay, it goes up like this. Yes. And we spin as we peel. Excellent. Bottom yeah. part's done? Yes. And if you flip it to the other side. Flip it. And this way, save your time, because time is important in, in like in the kitchen or commercial kitchen. You have to do it fast. This way you don't consume much time. Look at the boss. Yeah. Here. So that's 40 years, and this is a few years of experience. 
always remember to work safe when you work with the knife. Mm -hmm. The current always rules, so I see what I'm doing. I won't cut it different than that, so I'll, I'll make a disc for it. So sit firm. And I feel like this. Go up, go on. And let's see. My salary is done. My carrot is done. Honestly, like, this is actually, like, pretty sweet. I never really got a chance to cook with him like this. I feel, I don't know, it's so cute. Like, it's almost wholesome. I love you. Baba. Should I do a uh, full onion or half onion? Full onion, right? Full onion. This is good for like flavor. Onion is good for flavor. I lift the end, attach, and then I go one and two. Okay, and then I go this way. I get perfect, cute. Okay. Onion and garlic. Yeah. Never harm. Chef Boyardee and use the mincer or? Or use a knife. You don't want to mince your garlic that much. Oh, okay, yeah? So you have two options. Just smash it uh -huh. like this, all right? To get the enzyme out. One more time. OK? Yeah. Or you cut them thick like this, or leave it as is. How's our meat doing? Let's check it out. Okay. All right. More than 10 minutes now. Yeah. Here, guys, you see? OK. The, the trick we did, the, the vinegar, the, the water, and the the baking powder or baking soda, whatever, both of them work. So you work in the meat, even you see the color change a little bit. So what I'm going to do, I will dry my uh, meat here a little bit. Zach, don't copy me, OK? I'm not copying. This is the process. Oh, okay. I know this part. All right. I know this part. So I will not I'll tell you the next part. So don't take my Next part is we string it around to keep the bone in. Come on. What do you mean? Okay. <laughs> that, that's what I know. I'll tell you. I know. I've been doing this. All right. Zach? It's amazing. When I come to the kitchen, he want to do something, he perfect it. I know he will do good. Also, as I said before, I will teach him some tricks, and I will help him when he needs me. I forgot something. For you. No, no, no. No? Sure? No, no, no. Okay. Uh... All right. All right. Well, you good? Yeah, I'll yeah, start straight. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, go ahead. No, you're making me suck my cell phone. No, 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 it's okay, go ahead. Oh, wait, hold on, let me review. All right. Don't copy me, okay? I'm not copying you. All right. Okay, you know what? I'm not gonna copy. I'm just gonna follow the YouTube tutorial. Okay, I'm seasoning my meat. Okay. <laughs> Zach is not watching, eh? No, no, I'm definitely not watching. I'm gonna tie up the meat so the bone stayed with the the meat. Exactly. Is that, is that what you were talking about earlier? Yes. Never waste anything. Never. So we're going to pick up all this seasoning with the walls of the uh, yes. osobuco. I like this trick. You like that, right? Yes. I love it. I love tricks, man. Yeah, I know. That's why they... Make life easy. Yeah. Well, that's why they call you the Egyptian magicians. Honestly, it's not as bad as I thought. Ten-minute YouTube video? I think I got this. So now I'm going to use the cast iron in this one. Yeah. Because this one holds the heat mm -hmm. and you shock your meat in it. Yeah, yeah. Right? So this this is the searing process. Exactly. You, you get the crispiness one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is what's going to protect our meat. So this one, we'll put in the flour. Nice coat, flour. Right? Just the end. Take the extra so it doesn't burn. I will save this flour. I'll do something cool with it. Just remember it. Okay, I'll save it for now. I like the sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sizzle. Yeah. Sizzle. This is what I love. We're gonna sear it on both sides till it gets a, a nice redness, crispy finish. Flip it and do the same thing on both sides. Also, continue what you're saying. Yeah. If your meat is thick, yeah. you can sear the sides as well too. Okay, so why are we searing the meat as we cook? Because searing, from what I remember, yes. Remember, <laughs> from what I researched, uh, uh, searing it traps the juices inside. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. Good, <laughs> traps yeah. the juices inside, and it That's gives it that, that crust finish. Oh, you know. Man, this is great. Yeah, yeah. That's, I actually, yeah, uh, yeah. Hundred percent right. Hundred percent correct. All right, that looks good. Everything's going pretty smooth so far. Uh, 
I'm just a little bit worried about the, the sauce that I'm gonna have to make, but honestly, so far, so good. Now it is time to create the sauce. Let's see how they fare. Olive oil. All right, go down with. All right, see? This is what you wanna hear. Yeah, you wanna hear that sizzle right away. Yes. The oil's hot. Make sure to caramelize this one. Okay, what's your face? Uh, you should cut the, the butter outside. Yeah. It comes to... Well, I'm cooking like normal, though. Okay, but the, the, this oil, the hot oil doesn't splash in your face. All right. The celery. Okay. All the carrots. Nice mix. Well, that smells amazing, man. Honestly, guys, everything smells amazing. I like to cook the tomato paste a little bit. So this way, it gives the sauce more okay. redness. And this is my tomato puree, the straight tomatoes. But this is thick. I need my sauce a little bit runny because it's going to work in the oven for like one hour, as I said. But you're free to use any kind of stock you have, beef or chicken, whatever, all works. How are you doing? I'm good. Good? Thinking about eating gelato in Rome. Okay, that's great. That's great. Yeah, keep your hopes up, buddy. <laughs> the winner is going to travel to Rome to have a vacation there. I don't mind, but I think I'll do it. And I'm going to Rome. Time for the seasoning. Salt. Black pepper. Some bay leaves, like two or three for the flavor up. All the spices are cardamom, common, coriander, uh, uh, some curry, uh, uh, nutmeg. So this one is going to bring the flavor up. Okay, I give it like nice half a tablespoon here. Oh wow! Wow, that's crazy! Damn, that sounds amazing. I think you meant to be behind the Huh? Because you follow my steps. I'm not following. No, 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 no. I'm actually not. But yo, like even if I was, yes. there's a lot of steps to follow. Okay. So you should give me credit, even if I'm listening to you, that I remember everything. All right. But I'm not. I'm not listening to you. Okay. I actually went in different steps. You put garlic first. I put celery first. But I'm not watching you. I'm just. <laughs> yes, I said I will help him. But in the meantime, he's copying what I'm doing. He has to be his own. He put his own personality in what he's doing. So the flour received, I'll do some like uh, a dough with it, and I'll make it a nice trick. Chicken stock, how much, how much I'm gonna do two? Two, what are you thinking? Up to me? I think I'm gonna do two. Time to play this bad boys. I'll start with some, some sauce here in the bottom. Okay, okay. What do you think, Paul? You can take some sauce from here if you want. Huh? You're so funny. Cool, You're so funny. <laughs> so make sure you cover your meat, totally cover it. This is where is the aroma coming from? Some beautiful fresh rosemary. Fresh rosemary. Right. Some basil. Italian has to be basil for sure. Some fresh thyme. Do this. Okay, my little sauce. Just move it away for now. And this here. Okay, cool, cool. I'm good. I'm good. Whoa! Some more this sauce. looks amazing. <laughs> that looks crazy. <laughs> no, 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 sorry, sorry. I switched them. 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I had to do that to you. Okay, I can't. Sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, now you made me feel bad when I seen you put it in yours. Zach, if you want to play, you play fair. All right? Switching, doing tricks with me is not good. I taught you a lot, and you have to use whatever you learn to do your dish. But trick me, tricking me, it's not good, buddy. The Egyptian magician, always awake. I invented the tricks, so you're never going to trick me. This is my trick, guys. Some oil in my hand. Let's uh, yeah, put this in. Slow. This will work as a glue. 
Do another pot. I hope you got a pot. Almost in the oven. You put the... Tradition? Oh, you're putting dough around that? Oh, that's actually insane. I'm sealing this one, so no steam, nothing coming out. This will be crazy. That looks insane. Oh, he put dough, he put the dough. He put the dough on the lining. Oh my God, magician. Where's the magic in that? It's just, he did a little simple dough. He put it all on the lining. He, apparently, it's supposed to seal the air. I don't know. Anyways, man. See you in one hour. One hour? Yes. One hour at, what, 400 degrees? I think the oven is for 450, no? Yeah. One hour for 450. See you guys in an hour. Gentlemen, you now only have 15 minutes to complete your side dishes. Best of luck. 15 oh minutes? Okay, okay, okay. Let's go. Okay. Potatoes peeled. We're gonna make some mashed potatoes. So we're gonna boil them. Okay, give you a hint. Yeah. Speed up your time, cut them pieces. You have 15 pieces? minutes. Okay, it's okay. up to you. You can do whole, it's up to you. Okay, I'll just thank you. These. Appreciate that, Chef. No worries. For my tomato sauce. This is literally my first time making mashed potatoes. I'm screwed. Carrot, celery, and onion, and the garlic. All the oil here. Goose chunk, tomato sauce. Yeah, I'm, I'm playing a waiting game now, so I'll watch you. Way I learned from the family I used to be part of with them. Yes, exactly. So, exactly. so we have the base here. Go with nice spoon. Sauce has to have fresh pizza. Okay, so here I'm making some uh, pesto. Ah, some garlic. pesto it's a, from it's scratch. Like a simple one. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going to do pine nuts, so just olive oil, garlic, and basil. Okay. This is about presentation and flavor. So first, this is the first. I'm going to add my tomato sauce. People at home, like me, they need to try this. Now, water is boiling. See this trick? Ooh, ooh. Well, there's some magician in there. Oh, oh man. Okay. Watch, watch and learn. Okay. So you give your pasta a nice mix so it doesn't stick together. When you think that you've hit, you've hit that sweet spot, yeah. how do you, how do you check? If it's banned, Smooth, it's been smooth, it's been cooked. But if, it, if I push, press, and break, it's made it's not cooked, right? Everything is looking great. Even Zach is doing a very great job. I smell the aroma on his dish. My dish is looking great as well. But the result would be the judge. Oh my God. Salt. My, that's crazy. Oh my God, that's actually so good. As good as Ico? <laughs> no, no, I won't even lie. It's actually it? like so rich with flavor. It's insane. More points. Like I went, I went to Italy. Yeah, that, that was amazing. It was like, it was just like an explosion of flavors in my mouth. It's beautiful. You know what? I like you to be honest. No, truly. Like, like I know that I know that fair, we're in a, you know? a competition, but like I can't lie. Like what I'm experiencing, I can't lie about that. Thank you. Yeah, it's very good. Yeah. I'm gonna work here. Inside the same pot? Yeah. What about the garlic? Inside too? No? Huh? No. You need to cook the garlic first. Oh, the okay, okay. Add the cream ah. and add the mashed potatoes too. Oh, okay, okay, okay. The other way around. Mashed potatoes is a very simple dish, but Zach is messing up everything. He has no clue what he's doing, but I will help him out. Let's start the mashed potato process. Some olive oil. Chop up some garlic. Okay, to get the flavor, incorporate the flavor in it. Yes. You need it fine, very fine. That's why the crumb is Nice. 
time is running out, and they only have a couple minutes to complete their dishes. It's coming down to the wire. All right. All right, the moment of truth. Oh. Wow. All right, go. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, my God. That's this crazy. It's crazy, man. I finished wow. my pasta here. Some drizzle. I can't believe it actually turned out like this. I don't even think he he thought I could do it. Pasta is crazy. Okay. I'm going to try to go for a, uh, a circular kind of finish. Come on, no, it's enough. It's mm -hmm. enough? Come on, man. Let's try it out again. Let's try it out again. Food's getting cold. All right, all right. I'm getting bored here. The guy's taking like 10 minutes just plating the mashed potatoes. I offered my help, but he refused. Just hold it with anything smooth like that. And then the fork. And then. Okay. Ready, boys. I walked in today thinking, I don't even know what I was going to do. Zach did a very good job. I wasn't expecting that he come this way, but he did it. Good job, Zach. I, I didn't even know I could do that. Man, I, I don't know the way it's looking like. I think I'm going to go to Rome. I'm winning this. Now wait a second. You thought we were going to let you judge each other's dish? No, no, no. That's not how we do things here. We've brought a surprise judge. Introducing chef Jason Saratori, the Italian stallion. What's going on, guys? Oh, I heard of you. How you doing? Oh, are you to do some tasting, are we? Freaking Jason Saratori. This guy, this guy scared me when I was a child. I used to think he was Italian mafia, and he comes in here thinking he's a big shot. Oh my God, man, what am I gonna do with this guy? My name's Jason Serratore. I've been cooking for about 23 years in the uh, industry. They call me the Italian Stallion. I've owned a few restaurants, a uh, catering company. I've done all kinds of things all over the map. I can't wait to try the food. Be ready. Oh, we got also buco. Yes. I'm going to tell you which dish belong to who. Yeah. You try and you just. So it's at random. Yes. Yeah. All right. Try. Now for the voting time. But let's the judge talk and see who's going to win the trip to Rome. Well, right off the bat, I can tell you a few things. Whoever did this one, I don't know if there's more mashed potatoes than also buco, but I think the mashed potatoes are the side dish. And the oil, you gotta drain the oil so it's not all over the plate. So on, on plating, not the greatest. We're gonna see how it tastes. Over here for plating, looks beautiful. The pasta is nice lined up. I love it out down the side with the fresh basil, fresh parmesan there. We got the fresh lemon zest on top of the uh, osso buco. And I see there's the gremolata here. That's very traditional, um, just like Nonna would do. Comes down to this. <sighs> Let's start on this dish here. Some mashed potatoes and then uh, some mm -hmm. garlic mashed potatoes. Uh, for what you're lacking on the plating, mm. the little parmesan there on the end, eh? Yeah, uh, no, parmesan. Very, very, very good. Oh, yeah, it's falling right off the bone. That's beautiful. Butter, right? Like butter. I'm, I don't really even need my knife here. As you can see, it's falling apart nice here. Let's go ahead and try this here. Oh, oh, no, that's good. That is really good. It is so tender. The aroma coming off of it is beautiful. As soon as I opened it up, I just got hit with this nice aroma. That That is excellent. I'm gonna give you serious marks on flavor here. This is beautiful. Mr. Jason. He seemed pretty impressed with my, with my plate. I think, uh, oof. I think I actually have a chance. Round two. Yeah, this is uh, spaghetti uh, pomodoro and uh, the osibuco of this. So you see it there. Yeah. Got his nice and um, 
not overcooked. Number one mistake of pasta is overcooking it. Very nice. Mm. Oh my goodness. But this is just falling right apart. I don't, I don't really even need a knife. Oh my God. Oh my God. The gremolata really brings out the flavor on your palate. The, the flavor is really, really um, entrenched in, in the meat. It, it's so beautiful. Plating out of 10. Plate number one, I'm gonna give a five. It looks kind of sloppy. I would have, I would have, from about 1983. This one over here, I'm gonna give an eight. It could have just been a little bit tighter. Uh, for flavor, very, very close. I'm gonna give, dude, these mashed potatoes were amazing. Um, I'm gonna give this one an eight, a solid eight. I'm also gonna give it eight on this one. For creativity, as much as I like this, as very, it, it's more refined, it's not very creative. It doesn't really pop to me. Um, this one, although it lacks in um, finesse, um, I really enjoy the, the extra effort putting it, put into the uh, uh, riveting of the, of the outer circle here. I'm gonna give this one, I'm gonna give this one a seven. And I'm gonna give this one a six. You can tell that one of these chefs are very seasoned, uh, one not so much, um, but the talent is, is definitely here. And uh, I'm gonna award the winner. I'm gonna have to go here. Plate A. Just that, those mashed potatoes were just out of, out of the ballpark. Um, I mean, the, the pasta pomodoro was good, um, it wasn't amazing. And that, that was the difference, the flavor and the mashed potatoes. All right. This one is the winner. I won! I won! Oh my God! They picked me! I won a roll! I won a roll! Congratulations. Thank you so much. I actually can't believe it. <laughs> Thank you, YouTube. And you too. <laughs> and you too. Where's my hug? I'm going to roll. I'm going to roll. I'm going to roll. <laughs> For him to win it, I'm so proud. He's my son. Him winning the dish make me more happy than I won myself. And if you continue doing that, this guy will have a big name, will be a big chef. So who's taking me to Rome? But See I'm going to Rome. Rome. See you in Rome. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much. We love you guys. And bon appetito.